Today we're taking a walking tour of Cascade, Idaho, and we're starting right here at Palooza, which is one of my favorite restaurants. And they host events, sometimes in the evenings. They have comedy shows, they have axe throwing inside. The section set up for axe throwing, pretty entertaining. There's also other restaurants here across the street. You have a Whistle Stop Cafe and Miss Tibbs Bakery that has fresh baked donuts and muffins, things like that in the morning. If you're in Cascade, they have a grocery store. D9 is where most people will go to the grocery. Any of your outdoor gear, if you're coming and you know the kids grew since last summer and you're gonna need to get them another life jacket, that's where you can get them their life jackets. This dog boarding place has just opened recently. That was something really that people from all over Valley County bring their dogs here, right? So if they're headed to the airport from McCall on, on the way to Boise, they drop their dogs off here at the boarding place. So it was something that just overall the county really needed. So I'm excited that it came in in Cascade. This is the Roxy Movie Theater. They have events for kids, and then they usually have two different movies playing, and that's something that you can log on their website and see which movies they have out. So if you keep going down this way, there is a really, really nice playground and park area that goes down along the river. And then there's also Kelly's Whitewater Park that has a continuous wave where they offer lessons for kayaking and just a cool place for families to hang out on the river. This is the first time I'm seeing these, but I'm seeing them all over the place and they're so cute. It looks like each different post has been set up with a different type of bear. And now we're gonna go back this way and we'll see how close we are to the lake. So the school is also walking distance from downtown. It's right over that way. And it's a high school, middle school, and elementary all in one. And then after kids get out of school, there's also a Cascade Art Center right there with the stuff on the wall. Um, that building can be rented out. It's actually extends back. So there's a pottery studio in there. They have um, computers and laptops that kids can use. They also have tons of art supplies, like all the pencils and paints and papers and watercolors and crayons and just everything you can think of in there, I guess, to expand on art for the kids. This is a new gym that just opened up here in Cascade, Domination Fitness. And whenever I'm passing through town, if I'm like out late showing property or something like that, there are always people in there working out. It's crazy. Flying S, title and escrow, if you're gonna need to sign here locally, um, they can also send your documents out to you and sign with a mobile notary or sometimes DocuSign if you're purchasing a place here in Cascade. Valley County Courthouse, hopefully um, you don't come out here and have to make a visit back but um, this building is actually going to be moving to the other side of town maybe the next few months the county offices will be moving um, into the Ameritidal building maybe or it's in the works so this is where you would come for planning and zoning for your driver's licenses for your passports that's all happens in this building right here Get another restaurant, Grandma's Homestead Restaurant, popular for breakfast. You can tell we're getting closer to the lake, right? We're passing a tackle store. That's one thing that Cascade's known for, right? Is they're fishing. People come up here and love to just get out on the lake. So if you need some tackle supplies, this is where you come. So I would say that this is pretty much the end of town when you reach Lake Cascade Parkway because majority of people that are coming to Cascade to enjoy the outdoor amenities are gonna make a left right there. When you head up that direction, you're gonna run into the lake, you're gonna run into different parks and camping spots. There's also the golf course there that's right on the lake and the hospital. So all that stuff is 
right up that road. And then if you look right across the street, it has new owners. It used to be called the Ashley Inn and they've sold out to Hotel Nobo. I actually haven't been in there before, but I've heard that they've got a great chef and I do see a lot of the meals that they post online and it's been on my list of things to do to go there and try out one of their dinners. So as you can see, Cascade is a growing town. It's really spread out, but close to Cascade Lake. So it has tons of room for growth. And if it's something that you're thinking about investing in, reach out and give me a call.